So my colleague, Dr. Gottfried Schlag, who was a neurologist at uh, Harvard Medical School, did some research on melodic intonation therapy and what's changing in the brains of patients as they recover some speech function and the ability to express speech after going through this therapy. And he looked at these two uh, giant uh, fiber paths in the brain. So that's a see-through view of a human brain. The, he the head is sort of tilted down, the nose is sort of down. And you're seeing on the left towards you and the right further away from you, tracks, information superhighways that carry brain signals, neural signals, neural impulses from the hearing centers of the brain to the motor centers of the brain. And the one on the left is particularly important for speech. That was very damaged in the patients that he studied that had non-fluent aphasia. But when, after they'd gone through this therapy, after doing, he did structural imaging of their brains, he found this, this information superhighway on the right had actually gotten stronger through this therapy and somehow seemed to be compensating for the damaged one on the left. And so regular singing through this therapeutic program was actually changing the structure of the brain, and the brain was recovering some of its ability to speak through these changes in structure. So this is an example of how the clinical research, clinical application, and basic research are coming together to show that this can actually work for people and we can understand the mechanisms behind it.